Well, hello, boys and girls. Sheriff Matt Oller at Audrain County, Missouri. Uh, again, we're not in Audrain County. We're up in Monroe County at our weekend place. And uh, my wife is gone to work and she's due home just any time now. And I've decided I'm making breakfast for dinner. So I am on day nine of uh, post-op for L3, or I'm sorry, L4, L5, S1 spinal fusion. And I know the last video... Uh, I told you guys that the pain, the, the incision pain was just terrible, the surgery pain. Um, so far, the surgery pain has started to subside, and uh, the nerve pain is still gone. I have no nerve pain in my legs. I can walk straight up and, and do all the things that, uh, do all the things I was hoping I would be able to do without nerve pain. But, um, I told you guys I would answer, try to answer some of your questions. People had questions in the last uh, go around and sent me some questions privately, but uh, I'm going to tell you this is day nine. I'm still in pain, uh, but it's it's way less than it was day three and four. Uh, day three, four, and five when I made that last video, man, I was in pain that was just unbelievable, but it was all surgery pain. Uh, I've never been through a major surgery in my life, so I didn't know what to expect. I just mentally prepared myself for the worst pain imaginable, and I'm glad I did. But here are some of the things that uh, my wife and I found super useful uh, during my recovery, at least day nine, day 10, um, for spinal fusion, right? So there's going to be times, especially if your significant other works, that you're going to be by yourself. So you need to be able to pick things up. And I hate to say it, but uh, we ordered one of, these, one of these old guy claws from Amazon. I don't know how much it was, but uh, it has absolutely been worth its weight in gold. Uh, you can fold it up, store it away, and when you need it, you can pick it up and put it back together, grab stuff. So I just cut up some vegetables and I dropped a mushroom on the floor. Uh, having breakfast or dinner, I'm making omelets. And I was able to take this and pick up the mushroom that I dropped on the floor and throw it away. So absolutely phenomenal. Um, so you can see how it's set up here. Uh, it's got the little trigger, but you can take this and, and pull it out. Oops, sorry. You take this and pull it out <laughs> and turn it sideways if you want it sideways. Uh, just kind of depends on how you want this thing set up. But uh, it's been worth its weight in gold. Totally phenomenal. Um, another thing is uh, on day three, I was allowed to take a shower. Uh, and showering is a big deal to me, man. Sometimes I take two a day. I'm, I'm weird about that. Uh, but, you know, you can't bend, lift, or twist. You'd be surprised at how much you bend and twist to wash yourself. So uh, a, a, a shower thing on a stick, uh, I can get to my feet and legs just by lifting my leg up. Hang on. Just lift your leg up. You can get to your feet, your legs, your calf, uh, you can get to your back, you can get to the back of your neck, you can get your arms, and you don't have to twist and bend uh, to do that because one thing I'm deathly afraid of is bending and twisting because that not bending and twisting is, is totally uh, dependent upon my, my fusion and my spine. So um, I don't know how much this was, but again, worth every single penny. Uh, to be able to reach yourself. Um, for us guys, this may sound crude, but, you know, washing underneath your junk. You got to bend to do that. This, you can wash underneath your junk and you ain't got to bend. Uh, you can wash your, your butt crack. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I mean, I'm, I know I'm sounding crude, but uh, you can literally reach everything with this without having to twist or bend. So, uh, absolutely phenomenal. Uh, this thing, this is a, like a sock master or something, right? So if you wear socks, I'm not wearing socks, I'm wearing Crocs. Croc, if you ain't crocking, you ain't rocking. But there's going to be a point before my 12-week period is up that I'm going to need to wear socks and tennis shoes or socks and shoes or something. You put your sock over this, right? Stretch sock over it. And you drop it on the floor by these ropes. And you put your foot in it and pull it up. And then the sock goes up your leg, and this thing here just slides right out. And the sock, I've used it just to see how it works, and it works great. I'm not going to do it here on camera because it's a pain in the butt. 
But if you need to put on socks, get you one of these things. Um, mine's called Shagoo, whatever that is. We ordered it off Amazon, but uh, you can sit straight up or even stand up and put socks on. You don't have to bend over. Uh, all you got to do is stretch a sock over this thing, put your foot in it, and then pull it. Pull these ropes, and it'll pull that sock right up on your leg, and then this slides out, and your sock is completely on. Really, really cool stuff. Um, stuff that we didn't know about, man. I had to watch other people's videos to figure out how in the world I was going to put socks on. So the, the old guy grabber also, uh, this is how I put my shorts on. Like when I go to the bathroom, my shorts hit the floor. I take this with me, pull my shorts up to where I can grab them with my hands and pull them up straight. Um, and one other thing, and not that I need it, uh, but it, it certainly helps me keep focused. Uh, I have a walking stick, right? So this is a piece of diamond willow that came from the upper peninsula of Michigan. Uh, this was given to me by a guy when we vacationed up there several years ago. And the reason they call it diamond willow is because when you cut the, the branches off the, off the, the, the limb, it, it leaves a diamond shaped, uh, knot hole. And it's really, really cool. So he gave me a finished one and an unfinished one. Uh, this was the unfinished one. And guess what? Over the last nine days, I decided it was time to finish this. Uh, put a cane tip on it, a uh, rubber tip that's also got a spike for uh, later on to use for mushroom hunting or whatever I decide to do. But um, I don't necessarily need this for, for uh, weight bearing, but I'm walking differently enough now. Uh, my gait is differently uh, different enough that when I look around, I start walking crooked uh, because I'm used to walking hunched over. And now I'm straight up. So when I turn my head and start walking, I start, I start walking offline. So this kind of keeps me honest as far as uh, giving me a reference point to be able to walk straight. Um, it, it's, it's not really cheating, but, uh, and like I said, I don't need to use it for weight. Now I do walk with it quite a bit because when I talk to my neighbors, uh, a lot of times I will use this to lean on. And I, I know how long it is, right? So when I lean on it, you can see my, my arms come straight out. I know if my arms are straight out from my body and I'm leaning on this, and I've got this in front of me, that I'm standing straight up. My back is straight. I'm not slouching um, because, I, you know, like most people, uh, you know, for a decade now, I've been compensating by slouching and it's a hard habit to break. So I want to keep my posture as good as I can. So when I stand somewhere and talk to somebody, I will do this. That way I know I'm standing straight. Uh, if I didn't have this, by the time I was done talking to him, I'd be hunched over and, and probably putting pressure on my lower spine that I don't need to put on it or I shouldn't be putting on it. So uh, a good walking stick. Get yourself one of these. Again, you don't need to rely on it for weight bearing. At least I don't. Uh, but it certainly works out for keeping me honest as far as walking straight and keeping my posture upright. So anyway, uh, oh, by the way, before I forget, the other thing you need, uh, you need a good wife or a good husband. Uh, my wife has been phenomenal. Uh, she's been back to work for the last two days and I'm doing everything I can to take the stress off of her, but she's been bathing me. She's been changing my bandages. She's been doing all the things that a nurse should do and she's been working full time. Uh, and you know, I, I, I can't say enough about my wife. God love her. Uh, she's kind of camera shy, or I would have waited for her to get home and put her on camera and, and made her tell you guys this stuff. But um, she is absolutely, I have no doubt that I married up. Uh, I have totally outkicked my coverage, boys, um, and girls, for that fact. Uh, I'm, I'm totally taken. Uh, nothing is ever going to change uh, as far as me thinking that my wife is absolutely the best thing on the planet. Um, the other thing, uh, is, uh, the past three or four days. So I went down yesterday, excuse me. I went down yesterday to Columbia and actually taught a three hour class. I was scheduled to teach this class, uh, for the major case squad group, uh, before my surgery was scheduled and they had a hard time coming up with a replacement. So, uh, on Monday I contacted them and said, Hey, I'm doing good enough. I think I can make the 40 minute drive down there and I can teach for three hours. I stood up for three hours. With no back pain, um, no leg pain, no nothing. I mean, it wore me out, but 
pain wise, totally great. Um, and yesterday was the first day because I drove my uh, drove out of out of the county. Uh, and, and yesterday was the first day that I decided, you know what, today I'm going to carry a gun because I'm going to, uh, you know, a, a city with a population of a quarter million and uh, give or take 180,000, 190,000, something like that. And it's it's uh, there's a lot of crime there. Uh, and I was driving my police Tahoe. So I thought, well, I probably ought to carry some sort of gun. So I have been able to use my Galco uh, Miami Classic shoulder holster. Uh, carry my gun. So the other thing that you want to do, uh, if you if you want to do it, is uh, if it don't cause you any pain, by all means, put on your favorite gun, but get a shoulder holster. You're not going to be able to wear it around your waist. Uh, I've been wearing a shoulder holster since I've had back problems, which has been several years, and it is uh, absolutely orthopedic and phenomenal. So uh, get yourself a decent shoulder holster. My go-to is Galco, uh, Miami Classic. Um, this one is a Beretta. I also have one for my Springfield. I have one for a Glock. I have one for almost every gun that I carry day in and day out. So, um, anyway, uh, today so far I'm at 1.8 miles. I try to stick around two miles a day. Yesterday with teaching and walking around for three hours uh, straight, I got up to about three miles and I kind of paid for it last night. I was kind of achy, but, uh, anyway, if you have any questions about lumbar fusion, um, I'm on day 10, well, day 10 counting surgery day, uh, by all means, drop them in the comments and I'll try to answer your questions based on my experience. It, it may not be, uh, you know, my answer may not be the same as yours or someone else's, but just simply based on my experience, I'm a 51 year old active guy. Um, actually there's my retired police dog, Apollo sitting there staring at me. What's up, buddy? Yes. Um, I'm able to mess with him just a little bit because he's, you know, 10 years old and pretty docile. My current active police dog, she's getting boarded because she's just too much for my back. I mean, she would twist me around. She would cause me to twist and break something. So, uh, but I'm on day 10 counting surgery day and I think I'm doing pretty dang good. So if you've got any questions, by all means, uh, drop them in the comments. I'll try to answer them. But, uh, short of that, uh, Sheriff Matt Oller at Audrain County, Missouri, and I hope this helped you out and have a great, great day.